What's up guys, I'm sitting here at Three Broomsticks. It's uh, Lodge TV here on SoCal Exploring. Adrian, you guys should know me by now. We've been through this a lot. Let's go check out some of the VelociCoaster construction. And we're back. It's Scott, guys. So with the construction updates, we're going to try to do like kind of a mix of my voice and Adrian's voice. So as you guys, whoever's new here, as you guys know, Losh is my Orlando representative and my name is Scott and I do all the California stuff. So we're going to kind of try to do a mix of both a raw footage and me voicing over what we can see in these different clips. But let's check out the VelociCoaster. As always, though, before we get into construction, make sure to check out both of us on social media at Losh TV on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring Media on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring on Twitter and at King Losh on Twitter as well as subscribe to Losh's YouTube channel youtube.com slash Losh TV First and foremost, can we just appreciate the view that you're going to get from Wizarding World? Like, this is absolutely insane how crazy this view is going to be. I can't wait for this coaster to open up. You're going to get so many good shots there as far as photos goes, as far as video recording goes. This is definitely going to be a popular spot for vloggers like myself to go and film or even just to sit and enjoy the coaster going by. It is absolutely insane. This is hands down going to be the best view on the whole resort resort hands down in my personal opinion when this coaster opens up hey man can we just appreciate this construction worker hard at work sitting up there you know relaxing right now because i'm sure he's had a long day trying to build this coaster for us and look at him waving at us what a good man he is It's crazy to see how huge the construction site actually is. I mean, there's so much going on right now, and they're working hard to get this thing open as soon as possible next year. It's insane, though, because you can also see how many bank turns there are. You can also see how many twist and turns there are. It is insane. There's just so much going on during this construction progress and in this construction site. There's going to be tons of near misses on this coaster. There's going to be tons of whoa moments. There's going to be tons of moments where you feel like you're getting flown out of your actual actual seat which I'm super excited because Universal Studios Florida has nothing like this or Universal Orlando Resort in specific has nothing like this I mean I guess you can argue that Rip Ride Rocket is somewhere along the lines but this is more along the lines of like West Coast Racers over here at Six Flags Magic Mountain but like all construction you don't really tell how big the actual site is until you see it in person so unfortunately I can't see it in person obviously right now I'm in California but in September when we go out there to actually see see it in person i'm gonna be so excited to see how big the actual thing is and how just insane it is to see it in person Okay, we need to talk about something right now. One, that's that top hat portion of the coaster. This will be the highest point in the coaster. And it's not just a little bit tall. It is extremely tall. You're going to get such a beautiful view over the lagoon of Islands of Adventure. It's going to be absolutely mind-blowing. I mean, if you have a GoPro, you're going to get some great shots over that. You're going to get some great shots even being off the ride, just sitting there taking pictures of it. And also, you can see how close you are 
to that actual top hat portion, like the guest view from the very bottom. It's insane how close like guests are able to get to this coaster. Also, the Heartline barrel roll right over the water. It is so close to the water. It is insane. Like that barrel roll is going to be so tight, but it's going to be so much fun. That's one of those sections, like I said, where you're going to feel like you're actually falling out of your seat, but then it's going to turn right back and you're going to feel like you're just on a normal roller coaster and not actually scared for death. But it is insane how close it is to the water. It's insane how tall that one little hill is going to be. Oh man, just seeing these shots is it makes me more excited to ride this Velocicoaster. But right now, I'm going to send it over to Adrian to give you guys the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I've been Scott. Keep exploring, everybody. Let's send it off to Adrian. All right, and that'll do for us here at SoCal Exploring. Beautiful construction on the Velocicoaster. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to check out my socials, Lost TV across the board. Go, go subscribe to SoCal Exploring or subscribe to Lost TV as well. With all that being said, remember that positivity is key. And stay excellent, my dudes.